going on YouTube? This is Reason back once again, and I'm doing a video on a slightly different subject than what I'm used to. Uh, but I just finished seeing the trailer for a movie that I've been waiting for for a good year and a half now. Uh, it's coming out next April, and it is a horror movie. It is the remake of A Nightmare on Elm Street, Wes Craven's classic. Uh, they introduced who I think is the king of horror. It doesn't matter what generation you're from, doesn't matter you know what what you're a fan of. Freddy Krueger is the king. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so this movie's being remade, and I've been keeping up with the news about it and the articles and, you know, the posts and all that uh, for about a year and a half now. And finally, one of my boys from my, my, my old employer sent me an email saying, here's the, here's the trailer. So I, I, you know, I was earlier this morning, so I was like, yo, I got to see this. So I clicked on it. And for anyone who doesn't know, uh, Jackie Earl Haley is the, the one who starred in Watchmen, who played Rorschach in Watchmen and did a couple of other good movies. He's a very good actor. I think he was nominated for an Academy Award or something like that. He's a very good actor. He is the one taking on the role of playing Freddy Krueger for this film, which is a big shock to a lot of hardcore fans. They're all mad. No Robert England. No, they're, they're, they're mad that Robert England is not in the movie. They're protesting, saying, oh, no Robert England and no remake. This is garbage. It's going to be crap. To those fans, I say get a life. Straight up. Get a life. I'm a Nightmare on Elm Street fan from way back in the day, all right? And to this day, it's still, to me, the most impressive horror movie. Storyline-wise, the villain is amazing. I mean, everything is so great about this movie. But I'll be honest with you, man, and I don't, you know, I'll, I'll be real. I've been a fan. Robert England gets all my respect. He is Freddy. But the truth of the matter is, with the exception of Part 1 and Part 2 and Part 7, the Freddy that Robert England played wasn't scary. In part one, he was terrifying, bro. That was the man of our nightmares. He is, that is Freddy. You know, in part two, he was still scary. He was still in the shadows. By part three, he became a comedy gag reel. You know what I'm saying? We watched him to laugh and cheer for him, not to be scared of him. You know, part seven, Wes Craven's New Nightmare, they brought a new look to Freddy and Robert England got back to that scary, grimy Freddy, which worked good. And in Freddy vs. Jason, the look was all there, but he was still a comedy act. You know what I'm saying? This movie is a remake Meaning it's taking this original story, this original mythology, but it's putting its own modern day twist on it. And it's starting with a new actor for Freddy right out the box. Now, if you, I'm, I'm going to, on the information for this video, I'm going to paste uh, the link for y'all to go see this preview. Now, again, man, I mean, I saw this, uh, this, uh, this preview this morning and I was just blown away because Freddy is back. And not only is he back, but he's back in a scary, creepy, terrifying way. That is what he was intended to be from the get-go. He wasn't intended to be this wise cracking comedian with blades on his on his fingers. He was intended to be this demon, this this dream that you couldn't escape because eventually you had to fall asleep. And when you did, he knew everything about you. He knew everything that scared you. He was in your mind, and there was no escape. And once he got you in that dream, you were dead in real life. And that was what was so terrifying about it. Nowhere in that plot line does comedy fit. That's why even though I'm a fan of the Nightmare on Elm Street series, and I, I, I had all of them at one point, and I got some of them still now, and I appreciate every single one of those films because I love the story and the mythology. Yo, part three through part five, no, I'm sorry, part three through part six, were, you know, they were fun and they were good if you're a Nightmare on Elm Street fan, but they weren't scary. No, no more scary. You know, Nightmare on Elm Street 1 was terrifying. Nightmare on Elm Street 2 was still scary. Nightmare on Elm Street 7, What's Crazy Nightmare, was scary. But the ones in between and Freddy vs. Jason were just funny. You know, well, with the exception of Freddy vs. Jason, that was more action, but you know what I'm saying? But this this trailer, man, when you watch it, I mean, first thing right off the bat you'll see is uh, they're giving you a look at Freddy when he used to be alive, and when he was a normal human being. And they're giving you the impression that maybe he wasn't guilty of these child murders that the story suggests that he was. This is where they're putting their new twist on the modern, uh, on the real story, which some people are angry about, some people are embracing. I'm embracing it because, to me, I think it's much more interesting that, I mean, it's not even uh, in cement. It's not even like, yo, this is the way it is. It's just giving you the hint that, yo, maybe he wasn't guilty. Maybe the parents killed him for nothing. And maybe the reason he comes back in the dream to kill the kids is because the parents turned them by killing him, an innocent man, turned them into what he is today. That's a lot more terrifying and a lot more psychologically scary that uh, he was a killer in real life, they killed him, and now he comes back and keeps killing in dreams. You know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking the original story, I loved it, but I'm glad that they're putting a modern twist on it, making it their own version, modern day version of this cult classic. You know what I'm saying? So that's the first thing you see right off the bat. They're giving you a look at the Freddy when he was a human being and giving you uh, the impression that maybe he was innocent. And that sets up a whole bunch of questions and just opens up your mind to this new experience. And then you see a bunch of dream sequences. You see the, the, the traditional uh, 
female character talking about she's been having these dreams and there's this man and he's burned and you see the uh, look at the new glove which if you're a fan like i am you know what that glove looks like the new glove is different instead of having a plate on the back where all the rivets attached to it just has the finger rivets going all the way down to the wrist it looks real skeletal like it looks real scary man and uh the whole trailer you're there waiting to get a, a shot at his face because i remember when they released the, tro the, the, the poster couple months ago you can't really see his face and the screenshot that they released with him scratching the chalkboard you couldn't see his face it was in the shadows so everybody was dying for a look at his face and you know how's he gonna look because we know he's not gonna have they already said he's not gonna have that witch nose that Robert England had and that 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 cheese pizza face looking he was gonna look more like a real burn victim and at the very end of the clip for like three or four seconds you get a clear shot at his face and he really does look like a burn victim. He doesn't look evil and mean with the sharp teeth and all of that. He just looks burned. Like the cheeks and everything are, are just burned down like that. And, and the only real skin that you can see is like around the mouth and chin area. It's like normal skin, but there's just burns and like peeled skin on the cheeks. And the eyes are kind of covered a little bit by the hat. And he's right in front of this girl about to get her. And it's just terrifying, man. The clips that they show are like... You hear the Freddy song playing, like, little girls, one, two, Freddy's coming for you. And you see random clips of just people getting, you know, being chased by him in the dreams and him lurking behind walls. And it's all in the shadows, man. And then the good thing is this whole trailer was a good two minutes long, I think. I don't know exactly off the top of my head. But it's a nice, decent length trailer. And in this trailer, he Freddy only had one line. And that's the way you want to keep it. The, the villain, even if he could talk, you don't want him to talk more than is necessary. And the one line he had scared the crap out of me because it was just like... Yo, that's the Freddy that I that I remember from part one. You sick, twisted, horrifying dude. Not this ha 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 laughing out loud jokes dude. You know what I'm saying? And the line was, um, you know, he's about to he's about to waste this girl, bro. And the camera's from behind him, so you see him like that. He has one finger, one claw pointed at her, and she's like backing up, and she's sitting up against the wall. And he tells her, "You have nothing to worry about. This won't hurt one little bit." And then he just goes like that, and you see his face, bro. And it just, bro, it looks great. It says April 30th, but I'm, I'm told that the date is still April 16th. So either way, April of next year, which is not that far away, it'll be releasing. Uh, I'm encouraging, you know, people who are, you know, fans of horror movies, man, uh, to go check it out. Because this is the one of the ones that started it all, man. And this is one of the ones that is real slasher horror, 80s horror, old school, man. Not this new school garbage like Saw and The Grudge and you know, all, all this bull crap. No, 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 no. Bump that. Go see this because this is going to show you what a real horror movie is supposed to be like. And it's going to show you what movies like Saw and The Grudge and Hostel and all that garbage, what they're trying to cash off of and what they're trying to imitate. The originals, you know what I'm saying? So go check it out. And uh, one last thing, you know, as far as for, you know, the people who know me and know that, that I'm a Christian, I'm a born again believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, man. I live by his code, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it might be like, oh, what are you doing watching horror movies? That's another topic for another day. I will say this real quickly. Uh, horror movies or any type of movies, you know, or any type of TV shows or whatever, that is an area that falls plainly in a, black, a gray area. It's not a black and white area. And it's upon the individual himself to establish whether he feels conviction or condemnation for watching something like that or if he's okay with it. It's not a black and white area that scripture clearly denies I mean, you know, forbids or allows. It's not really treated. You're supposed to, you know, be wise in what you do. And, you know, of course, I won't watch it or, you know, really enjoy it or talk about it around someone who I know may be uncomfortable with it because I wouldn't be walking in love. But is it a sin for me to watch horror movies? No, it's not. It's nowhere, nowhere in Scripture does it give you that idea. What it tells you is it gives you the guidelines to live your life the way Christ would. And on the areas where Scripture is silent, you are to form your own uh, I don't want to say your own opinion, but you are to form your own decision based on the principles of Scripture and based on what the Holy Spirit is doing in your life. So I just wanted to get that out there for those of y'all who might be like, oh my God, but he's Christian, what's he doing watching? So what? I mean, y'all watch TV, y'all watch movies, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no big thing in that. So I just wanted to let y'all know this movie. Check the trailer out. I'm going to post, uh, I think it's on this side, I'm going to post uh, the information for the link. Go check it out and you'll see what a real horror movie is supposed to be like, man. This is going to be creepy, y'all. Check it out. See you later.